I'm Martin Reeves. Um, I lead strategy research at the Boston Consulting Group. And I want to share with you some speculations quickly about um, the possible roles of, uh, of AR in relation to AI and, and strategy from some of the work that we're doing. Um, so um, while uh, a lot of uh, the applications appear to be consumer applications or what I call tactical applications in business, um, we're doing some thinking about what some of the uh, CEO level um, strategy applications of uh, AI and AR might be. And um, one idea that sort of persistently crops up um, when looking at application of technology uh, in business, especially for sort of high level applications, is that point functionality almost never translates into aggregate impact. So the fact that a machine can do something uh, doesn't mean that the corporation becomes effective. And that's often to do with uh, configuration. Um, and uh, probably many of you are familiar with this example. When the steam engine was replaced by the electric motor, um, actually there was no impact on, on factory productivity at all. And that's because the electric motor was put in the center of the factory, uh, pretty much where the steam engine was. The factory layout, the workflow did not change. And it was only when the workflow uh, became rationalized that the full uh, impact of the technology um, uh, was, was able to be realized. And um, actually, we see this in, in our research, too. So uh, the problem is irrelevant, but we were looking at a particular problem, um, which was, can you tell how innovative a company is from the uh, outside in? And we did a little experiment. We got, um, uh, we got three teams to attack the same problem uh, in three different ways. And um, way number one was just uh, a smart analyst with a, with a pencil and paper. And the second one was to use uh, a leading commercial uh, natural language processing tool. And the third one uh, was to uh, first have the team redesign the human machine interface um, so that they could um, interact with the, uh, with the NLP software. And we, what we found was that the least effective um, uh, application uh, configuration was actually the leading commercial tool. And that was primarily because it was a black box. It was actually extremely technically powerful. Uh, it had wonderful um, graphics uh, capabilities, but the human beings were not able to, uh, to play and tinker and triage uh, with, the, uh, with the machine. Uh, second best was the pencil and paper, and the best was actually the, what, I call, what we call the messy interface uh, version, where, uh, where the, uh, the human analyst could actually quiz, backtrace, uh, triage, um, and change and interact with, uh, with, the, with the software. Um, so one, one issue I see coming up um, for AI um, in, in business is that, um, so I'm going to use the word uh, that Janet used, uh, enchantment, but in, in a slightly different context. So uh, Weber talked about um, uh, uh, enchantment or disenchantment as being the graduation from the age of magic uh, when we, uh, we believed in things, but we didn't know uh, why they worked. And there was, uh, if we like, we believed in the magic of things that worked uh, to the scientific age where we, um, it became less magical, but we had a deeper understanding of, 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 of why things worked. Um, and one of the things I see happening with, uh, with, with corporate uses of artificial intelligence is that um, for many reasons, for the volume of the data, for the frequency of the updating of the data, and from the obscurity of the reinforcement learning algorithms, we actually um, get re-enchanted, if you like. We, uh, something magical is going on, but we don't really know what, and we can't really audit uh, what's going on and whether it's uh, truly doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, and this is, of course, a bit of a problem if you're taking you know, multi-million dollar bets in, in corporate strategy. Um, so uh, one idea is um, AR is usually, uh, at least as I've, I've read ab about it, uh, about um, seeing hidden variables in reality. Um, I think in business, there are many places where we want to see hidden variables. So one of them is in reality. Uh, for instance, fast-changing situations, complex situations. But I think another one is in, in algorithms. You know, what's going on inside the algorithm? Another one is in the organization. What's going on in the entirety of a complex organization? So uh, AR, in the sort of extended sense, can perhaps help us to avoid this re-enchantment, this re-entry into the age of magic. So one of the things we've been trying to do is to, to build some conceptual and actu actual, what we call universal strategy machines. So the schema you've got here is basically a schema which is a combination of, of humans and, and artificial intelligence, uh, which is able to solve pretty much uh, any uh, any strategy problem. So you can see the, the, uh, the operations as signal detection, pattern recognition, abstraction, goal setting, design of the overall, what we call the man-machine machine, and so on. And, um, and uh, we've been trying to figure out rules of designing the man-machine machine, 
so, the, so that the, the point functionality actually becomes aggregate performance. And um, it's, it's a long story as to what those rules are, but one very critical set of rules involves the, um, uh, the, the interface, uh, whether the, uh, the, the machines and the, and the humans can actually uh, talk to each other very well. Um, now, one problem with that is that um, some, of the, some of the dialogue that needs to occur is actually beyond, beyond the abilities of human perception. The volume of data uh, may be uh, too much, the, the frequency may be too high, the intrinsic complexity of the structure of the reinforcement algorithm may just be sort of intrinsically obscure. So it's not just an issue, an issue of dialogue. And uh, perhaps in that sense, um, uh, augmented reality can, uh, can, uh, can help us to, to see inside a, a, couple of, uh, a couple of variables, to see inside the algorithms, um, to actually make sure that we're seeing the same thing with our, with our colleagues, so to en enhance human interaction, to see uh, strategic, strategic variables um, uh, in, uh, in, 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 in reality. Um, now, in case this sounds a little abstract, um, we're actually um, uh, trying uh, a, a 2D uh, application of these ideas by taking the, the 199 app into the million dollar strategic stra training space. So, uh, we've created um, a, 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 a virtual world that's programmable with real parameters in a, in a training game that can mimic any strategic situation or any strategic journey of a company. And by playing the game in a group, uh, you can actually uh, access the functionalities that I, talk, I talked about. So for example, you can see uh, the hidden variables of this strategic situation. Um, you can see uh, the parameters of the algorithm. It's actually a, a population of Bayesian multi-arm bandits that's actually driving the game. Um, you can see um, how your teammates are, are, are playing. You can see the aggregate performance of your, uh, of, of your group and so on. I mean, have, we're having a lot of success with this because it uh, essentially uh, visualizes and humanizes a fairly abstract problem, which is training people on the abstractions of strategy in a sufficiently relevant way that it's translatable into uh, experience of the, of, of the real world. Um, so I don't know how, how far off all of these uh, things are, but if any of you are interested in uh, in teaming to, uh, to, to apply um, augmented reality technology to this sort of problem, then we'd, uh, we'd love to talk with you. Uh, but the emerging idea really is that um, you know, configuration is as important as functionality. AR can really help complement uh, AI in building new, more powerful man-machine machines or organizations, um, especially in interfaces. That could, be, that could open a market to some very high-value uh, uh, corporate uh, applications, and we could potentially uh, break this sort of uh, entry into a new dark age where we are, we're blindly trusting algorithms uh, that, we, uh, that we don't really understand. Thank you very much.